Hi, my name is Judah Engelmeyer. I'm here to tell you about gaining publicity for local Tea Party patriots and the key regions. The reason that's so important is because local media and local advocacy is how, is how the Tea Party began. It's a grassroots movement organization that starts out from your villages, your towns, and your cities and moves all the way on up to the national offices. The only way people pay attention to you is when the entire country gets involved. In order to get publicity, the first thing you need to do is have a plan. Step one in a successful public relations campaign is know what you want to accomplish. The strategy is to define your goals. Promoting the Tea Party Patriots is that goal and nothing else. Having a plan is knowing your audience, knowing that they're local and national, knowing who your media is, determine your tactics, your, and decide whether you're going to have rallies, partial meetings, talking to local press, both local and national. People often think that getting media is an ego thing, but it's not bad to want press and attention for the issues you're championing. In order for people to know who you are and what you do today, you've got to be seen. Getting media for issues that are important is perfectly valid and perfectly acceptable. Rule number one, getting publicity for the Tea Party Patriots and its issues, it's not to further your agenda, it's to further the Tea Party Patriots agenda, and that's key to remember. By properly branding and recreating the Tea Party Patriots image, we can make Tea Party go from what's here on the left to what we see on the right. The left are images that the media creates about us. On the right are the images that we want to portray, the message that we want to send, and the reasons we are in business. The tips you're going to need are to determine how your goal fits in with your overall marketing strategy. Broadening the appeal of the Tea Party Patriots should be that marketing strategy, and everything you do should surround that. Determine what you want your audience to do. Who's your audience? Is it the TV watchers, the print and internet readers, or the rally attendees. Whoever they are, determine who that audience is and let's cater to them. Another tip is identify the media that your audience consumes. Which venues do you want to be seen in? Is that television? Is it online? Is it internet, social media? Is it radio? Make it relevant to your audience or it will not have any impact whatsoever. The Tea Party Patriots will get good publicity if you each understand and control the perceptions about your organization, know how to develop a brand, understand public opinion, practice good media relations, and create smart and strategic signs and branding and ads. It's very important to you know that you have to control the message. Don't let other people make that message for you. And all these tips are designed to help you control that message. So what do you need to make your public relations work? Well, you need a public relations toolkit. That'll be an organizational background informational, executive profiles, policy and issue information, news releases and templates, and email templates. And remember, the key to good public relations is consistency, making sure that your message is consistent, that the ideals and goals are consistent, and the look and feel are consistent. That way people could easily identify the Tea Party Patriots with the issue and respect it. So what's the best way to get more publicity for your group? It's very simple. Word of mouth and personal touch. And the best promoters of the Tea Party Patriots are you and brand ambassadors, people locally who believe in you, who have faith in you, who understand your issues. If you promote them, if you believe in them, and if they're issues people can relate to, they're going to buy into it and they're going to want to be part of the Tea Party. Now listen, brand ambassadors we see all over television today. You have Daniel Craig, who supports Omega Watches. You have Scarlett Johansson, who supports SodaStream. And of course, you have Bruce Springsteen, who stands with Barack Obama. You don't need to be a celebrity to be a brand ambassador. The truth of the matter is, if you're local, if your issues are important, this is something that matters to everybody and they're going to want to support it. They believe in you, you're their friend, you are their brand ambassador. Personal contact. You should speak to groups, talk about Tea Party Patriots with your friends, hold house parties for the Tea Party Patriots, and be prepared to represent Tea Party Patriots on local media. It's very important because as you get to be recognized in this area, people are going to come to you and media is going to come to you. You have to be prepared to address those issues. Once you have an audience, you have to tell a good story. Getting media attention is dependent on having good stories and telling them well. People react to ideas and stories they can relate to. Make it about someone or some policy that hits home. There's nothing more important for local media than stories that hit home. They're not usually interested in things that don't matter to them locally. Key is to tell a good story. Local media reacts to local issues before national ones. You're better served by being a local Tea Party Patriots leader with very identifiable and relatable reasons for getting press. There's a well-known mantra in politics. All politics are local. Every good politician knows that. If you want to get elected, if you want your issues to be heard, you have to speak to the people that are voting for you. That's the people and that the issues that matter to the people in your local community. Storytelling 101. Make sure your story is newsworthy appeal to human interest, 
Use your emotional hooks to engage audiences. Tie your story to what's going on in the news, local and then national. Back up your story with evidence and statistics. Facts are extremely important and not easily brushed aside. Create a call to action that'll motivate audiences and that'll also bring the press back to find out how that call to action worked. Reaching media. Knowing how to interact with reporters is vital skill for getting the Tea Party Patriots public relations it deserves. And in your own regional neighborhood, find the local newspapers, TV stations, radio, and even the prevailing bloggers who cover the local politics, policies, the city, town, village, and state government matters. Get to know those reporters. You can find the contact information often on the internet, and if not, make a phone call to the news groups and ask them. You could very easily get email addresses, telephone numbers, and often Twitter handles. It's also important to get the same information for news desks and the news producers. Once completed, make it a point to call and introduce yourself and introduce the Tea Party Patriots to them. Set up coffee meetings or whatever the reporter is comfortable with and establish a relationship with him or her. Never inundate. Once you establish that rapport with the reporter, don't inundate them with emails. Don't send them jokes. Don't send them your family tree. Just keep them apprised of what's important to the organization. The more emails they get from you, the less they're going to start paying attention. So keep it to three times a week, perhaps, at very least once at the end of the day with issues that are important, but don't inundate them. Before your pitch, you should dedicate a spokesperson to represent your organization. Someone who can speak well and who can understand the difference between personal opinion and Tea Party Patriot ideology. And that's very important and I have to keep on re-emphasizing that. Know the positions your organization has on every issue. Before the pitch, you should know what you can and can't say to the media. You're going to hear some things on some Tea Party calls every now and then that are confidential and not necessarily for public consumption. Understand what those are and know what your guidelines are. Only use authorized comments and you could avoid turning news into a crisis for the Tea Party. Have something interesting to say. It's very important. If you're boring, no one's going to listen. Good news is dynamic. Don't be boring. And always consider whether you'd be proud if your children heard or saw you perform on the news. Tailor your pitches to specific people in the media. Understand when you're going out to media, the reporters who cover various different beats, whether it's a government beat, an education beat, local infrastructure beat, whatever it might be. Understand that reporter that you're going to and present them issues that are important to them. Because if you tell them something that they're not covering, you're not going to get that coverage. Be responsive to reporters' deadlines. Don't ignore them and don't make them rush. If a reporter says their deadline is 4.30, get back to them before 4.30. Don't make them wait. It's an easy way to lose a friend. Try to find out the reporter's agenda by doing research. Before you answer any question, understand who that reporter is, what they've been writing about on that topic, so you understand what direction they might be going in. You might be surprised sometimes, but very often you're not. If you're not prepared to speak with the reporter right away, you can say that. Say, I'll call you back in 10 minutes. Never be caught off guard, and don't be afraid to ask them to wait a few minutes. But call them back if you say you're going to. Never lie, never make it up. Write down the key messages that you want to deliver and call them back and stick to those messages. Practice responding to questions that you know you will be asked. Very often when you're dealing with policies and politics, we understand some of the questions that are going to come our way. Expect them, know how to respond to them. Answer the question that you want to answer. It's a skill that can be learned. It's called a pivot. A good example of a media pivot is, if you remember back when Barack Obama was on with Bill, with Bill O'Reilly on Fox News talking about the Obamacare website and how it wasn't performing so well. Bill O'Reilly asked him point blank, is Kathleen, Kathleen Sebelius going to be fired? Barack Obama looked at the camera and simply commented on how well people are doing on the website signing up and how great it's going to be that people are going to be having health care. He never once addressed the question. Bill O'Reilly never went back to it, understood it wasn't going to be addressed. The president said what he had to say and he pivoted successfully. Focus on the good that you're doing and the impact that you're having. And when I say you, I also mean the Tea Party Patriots and the groups that you represent. Stay away from issues that you know divert attention from Tea Party goals. And you'll hear about some of those things on the phone calls. You'll understand what they are. Some, sometimes the things that you feel are not necessarily Tea Party Patriot issues, and we have to respect that. Be helpful and provide reporters with the proper resources and information to follow up. If you have a poll, if you have data, once you comment on it, give it to them afterwards. It's very helpful. Prepare for follow-up actions or interviews. Very often, after you finish commenting, you might say something that'll inspire a reporter to come back to you with follow-up questions. Expect that and be prepared for it. Always be truthful. 
I can't emphasize enough how lying to the press can get you in big trouble. Getting caught in a lie can be devastating. Rather than lying, say less or say that you need more time to look into it and get back to the reporter. Don't make it up. Even if you think there's a better answer out there or something that's more palpable or that the media wants to hear, don't do it. After the interviews, send thank you cards to the reporters that you speak with and follow up when possible and work to maintain those relationships. What you'll find very often is that reporters are people. Regardless of where they stand on a political spectrum, if you respect them, they'll respect you. If you treat them nicely, they'll treat you nicely. And it's much harder to write something bad about somebody they know than an anonymous figure. Respond to negative press. This is very important. Be prepared to listen to the questions carefully. In most cases, when there's an issue out there in public that can be perceived as negative, Tea Party Patriots will have provided standard answers. Use them accordingly and use them and stick to them. The word no comment or the comment no comment is generally perceived as guilty. We try to stay away from using language like that. There's nothing wrong with saying, I'm not prepared to answer that question right now. Let me look into it and I will get back to you. If the issue is new to you or you're not prepared to, do, and you're not prepared to respond to it, do not make up an answer. You simply say, I wasn't aware, but I will follow up with you after we finish today. And make sure to follow up. Gaining publicity for local Tea Party patriots in key regions is an important aspect of your job. We're looking for more people who want to do that. The local regions are the backbone of who the Tea Party patriots are. As a grassroots organization, for it to grow, it needs people like you. If you're willing, if you're ready and prepared to speak to the media and to lead parties and lead rallies, please give us a call at teapartypatriots.org. I'm Jude Engelmeyer. Thank you very much.